On to New Eden, whichever way it lies. We'll need provisions, going for the basics. We'll manage, together. What the hell happened here? If you're gonna play with salt circles, you better get them right, lad. This place deserves a second look. September 14th. During one of our explorations of these new lands on which we first set foot many years ago, Angarad and I discovered a new place. A special place. A cave, hidden behind a waterfall, where none would find it. A strange feeling of lightness drew us to it, as though the veil between the incarnate and the invisible was as thin as the finest French silk. From the chamber emanated the power of the other world. Surely, we thought, this was a fine place for ritual experimentation. The cave was larger than we had at first thought, containing a multitude of galleries. Angarad and I decided to take young Shelley along with us to continue our exploration. Pleasant but ungifted, his father insisted that he train with experienced occultists. What a surprise it was when we found the mushrooms we needed for our rituals growing on the walls. We set about collecting them, while I drew the symbols and prepared the rituals. We felt our powers magnified tenfold. One page missing. September 18th. The cave is vast and dangerous. I heard whispers in the darkness. Something watches us. Neither Belden nor Shelley can hear them or so they say, but something lurks, I am sure of it. Perhaps I am wrong. Perhaps the fever I had some weeks ago yet lingers. Last night I caught young Shelley watching us sleep. He was talking to himself. It was unnerving. I see no bodies. Maybe the wolves took him. Can you not see this? Symbols on the wall? No. Take my hand. I want to try something. Whoa. Is that possible through our bane rings? They allow us to connect the invisible and the incarnate. Through this bond, what I see I bestow on you. Are those webs made of spectral stains? Let me. All these years, the things we must have missed. The dead hide more from the living than we thought. This is going to be helpful. Something's concealed.
we can fight them together. We did it. We did. Thank you. I wasn't much use. You were. I promise. You get better. Things will get better. Huh? something close. <laughs> Something's nearby. Where is it? A weight sits on my chest. The cave roof looms over me like a colossus. It is not like me. I will explore the cavernous depths. Anarad disagrees, fearing a fall into a crevice or some other fatal mishap. I reassured him that I am an experienced and capable explorer, as was my father before me. Shelley wishes to join the party. I don't trust the boy. I don't like the way he looks at me. He wishes to follow me into the depths and something inside me screams no. One page missing. I sicken. My organs burn. My blood withers. I will die, such is the price of knowledge, we occultists say. But I regret. If I had known what suffering awaited, would have turned us back, drowsed us in the icy waterfall and left, burying the cave deep in my memory. May the demonic effluvia from our rituals take them all. They always end up mucking around with blank magic. Always.
That spectre, it's heading for that corpse. Did we miss a few? Take that to your face! The whole region's crawling with spectres. It's not just New Eden Town. What happened here for the veil to be so thin? War, invasion, or colonization of a land that's vulnerable to haunting. Hunting gear. There might be a lodge nearby. You took yourself up there very fast. That might take some getting used to, for both of us. Antea, will people be able to tell that I'm haunted? Perhaps, if they had talent or training. What if someone sees you? Unlikely. If they had talent or training, they wouldn't have needed us banishers. trappers around here. The woods are swarmed with spectres. Hopefully they left. Never trust a banisher, for even their name is a lie. Banishers are not the helpful agents trying to protect the rightful from the devil. They do not ban the evil spirits back to hell, no. They make use of the most insidious and nefarious magic. Have you ever looked at their hands and forearms, decaying from the corruption of their black art? Have you ever read the despicable symbols they carve on the rings they always wear? Banishers are not different from any sorcerer or witch or devil worshipper. And they lie to the face of the just. They do not ban the evil. They subdue and tame the immortal soul, tainted or pure, dead or alive. Through their fancy words, they transvestite the truth of the Lord. Essence, they say, and residue, and spectral stains and releasing and closing. Lies. 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 Do you know what they call a blame? It is when they steal the soul of the rightful, 
before enslaving it for one of their many sinful activities. So never trust a banisher, since each time you make a deal with one of them, you may be the next they deprive of their eternal soul, if they decide to blame you for any reason they choose. From Naming the Enemy, by Fear God Waterbury. These witches you mentioned must know something about the nightmare. Uh, can we trust them? Uh, witches only involve themselves with people if they absolutely have to. Yours must have good reason. I think I see a crossing, over there. Signs of civilization. Lucky me. Nice place. Wolves and spectres aside. Don't you have wolves and spectres in the highlands? I but I have the courtesy of letting me catch my breath between fights. Creeping ivy. I always hated these sap thirsty spectres. Bad news. The bridge is out. We'll find another road to New Eden. Strange. I see stains, but not the usual kind. There's a pattern to them. Don't you see it? It calls to me. I have strong ankles, but at this height, I'm not going to make it. Over here, you can climb down. And up and down we go. Those stains. I could have grasped at them had I been stronger. It's hard to think clearly. The hunger is back and it's growing fast. Already? Right, let's find something to sustain you.
I have another in sight. Careful. They mean business now. Enough! There's someone inside. Someone tainted. <sighs> Quick mist. Spun by a ghost after a violent death. Anisher row number eight. Don't get lost in quick mist, lest the spectres get you. Wise, but I see no other way. A ghost made this, and we need to find out whose. Look to me. 